Alright then, hello YouTube, once again, this is the Gaming Llama here, and we're gonna be playing more Cairo, cause, uh, yeah. So, uh, we're, we're back, I'm just gonna be kinda spam recording this and uploading it, cause I got nothing else to do. So, yeah. Anyway, let's, let's read the guide section here. Walls block you in the simple maze. It's very simple. I should not have to guide you. No, you shouldn't. I should be able to figure this out myself. Anyways, as you enter, look to the right to find a corner with a shadow in it. Get to that corner to find a rune. Alright, so we have to go over to the, the corner. If we can. If the game will let us. Go over to the shadowy corner to the right. Which I think it will if we go like this. Yes, okay. So apparently there's a rune. Oh, here it is. If it's your sixth rune here, you get an achievement. Oh yeah, okay, so that's, I guess that's the missing one. So, alright, cool. Alright, then we're all good. We got our, got our missing rune. The one that wasn't in the sequence. That was just, that was bugging me. Because it was like out of sequence and everything else was like, eh, but... Whatever, we won't worry about it. So we have to get to the symbol, and we'll just kind of follow along the walls until we do, so... This bit's gonna take a while just because of the stupid walls that are gonna make us take, of course, the most roundabout way possible to the face symbol. Like, I was pretty much right next to it, but nope, it had to, had to be the super long roundabout path. I think we had to come at it from this direction, or or not, or not. We've gotta gotta go uh, this way. Yeah, this way should be the right way. Here we are. We're at the face. Bong. Next partial. So all right. Partial. Continue to the next door, which is on the other side of the maze. Which, of course, we can't just get to by walking. We've got to get around a bunch of stuff first, but that's okay. There we go. That was easy. All right, so that was that maze. I do like the look of this game. That's one thing that I definitely admire about it, but one thing... Like, I, I like the design and the art style and all that. It's just it's kind of pixely and grainy, so it kind of hurts my eyes. Anyway... Uh, let's see, cube path, nothing move on, that's where we just were. Generator, go to the symbol and start it up. This thing up here. Uh, there are four switches, they are marked with rings, you need to step on them in order from smallest ring to the largest. You also need to be fast, so sprinting is mandatory. You'll get the last partial move on. I just fell, but whatever. Okay, so we've gotta go from the smallest to the largest, so... Smallest, uh, the next one is gonna be, not this one, it's gonna be this one. And then it's gonna be this one, and then it'll be the last one, so, there, and then this one over here on the diagonal. Alright, cool. So we have got that, and then you will get the last partial, move on. Uh, nothing here at all. Looks cool, though. Move on. I will agree that this area looks cool. And the cubes move and stuff with you moving, or no, they don't. Never mind. Whatever. Forget I said anything. But yeah, this area does look cool. Even though there's nothing here, but that's kind of the spoopy charm of this game. That's one thing, is, like, I feel like this game kind of, like, the whole the whole idea behind it was that you're just alone in this big-ass world of, like, weird shit, and you've got to figure out how to do everything. Alright, we're back at the Lighthouse Hub. Obtain all the partials to cause a symbol to appear. Step on the symbol and enter the beam. Alright, now see, last time I was like, oh yeah, we'll go through this door, but then we'll, we'll go through the door in the back, but we'll enter this beam first, and then when we enter the beam, it's like, oh, well now we can't go back, so... Alright then, now we get to fall for a ways. We've seen this cutscene before, am I right? Are we getting closer to the light beam, or... 
I don't know. I can't. I can't tell. Are we actually moving? Is nope. Okay. And we're back at the red area. That hurts my eyes a lot, actually. Light source. The final puzzle in this part. Push the lever behind you. Eh. Eh. Put. Put. Push. Damn it. Put. Really? It's gonna be like this. Ah, fine. Oh, there we go. Now it's going. Alright, push the lever behind you. Second, look at the back wall. The buttons on the back control the position of the mirror. Press the middle buttons on the middle and the top rows to solve the lighthouse. You will now receive an achievement. Okay. Alright, and I think we already have the achievement for this, so we won't get another achievement, but that's just whatever. We didn't have to jump down here, did we? We have to go back up the stairs. Alright. That's cool. See if I care. See if I care. Okay, then. So, final puzzle in this part. Push the lever behind you. Look at the back wall. The buttons on the back wall control the position of the mirror. Press the middle buttons on the middle and top rows. So, we want this button up here. And then... This one up here. There we go. I remember that took me so long the first time I went through this. That was like... That took me forever, man. Okay, so we get an achievement, except we already have the achievement, so... Now we enter the portal over here. Here we go. Gosh darn it, why'd we have to... Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. We can just walk up here. A lot of the pathways in this game are really steep. Like, I'm surprised you can walk up some of that steep. Okay, great. My eyes are hurting and a bunch of other stuff, but that's cool. We got the lighthouse, the fog clears, and that area becomes available. But, like, you know what bugs me about this bit the most is that that walkway, like, you look at it and you think, oh, yeah, that's a pretty quick walkway. That won't take too long to get to. And then you actually, like, walk up it and you're like, oh, my God, this takes forever. I just want to get kind of an, a higher up view of that. Like, yeah, that walkway, you think to yourself, that's not a very long walkway. I can get across that pretty quickly. No, you cannot get across it quickly because you move so slowly. That's what I don't get. Like, you can look straight down, but you can't look straight up, anyway. So, this beacon shines to there. What I think is kind of daunting about this building, though, if you just entered this section, you thought, wow, that was a lot to do for this, just this tiny building. And you look at this thing, and you're like, oh, fuck, we're gonna be here forever. So, okay, it, it, it first it takes you forever to actually get on the bit with the speedy black squares, and then I think... I don't know if the squares actually speed you up or not. I guess they do, but... It still takes forever to walk over here. Like, oh my god. And if you try it, can you even walk back? Like, no, you can't actually. Okay, so once you're over, that's the thing is that I couldn't even have walked back if I wanted to. So I had to start a new game to get everything. Because once you walk over here, it's like, nope, you're basically stuck here. Okay, great. Now we're at the big scary building. Uh, the fog clears. Part 2, Lower Tower. Walk into the new building. The cube platform on the ground makes you faster. Enter the tower. Alright, then we'll go into the tower. Just kind of go through here. There we are. Okay, spotlight. Walk forward to the next area. This is pretty straightforward. If you don't know how to do this, you're probably an idiot. Oh, lovely. Alright. It's just a lot of the textures in this game, they're so grainy, like, they're, like, it's, it's a nice art style, but it really hurts my eyes. Okay, alter. Go through the door and press the hexagonal button. Time to do some backtracking. Boop. Press the hexagonal button. Oh, that hurts my ears. Great, now my eyes and ears are hurting. Okay, backtracking. After you press the hexagonal button, go back to the white, which is apparently this area back over here. Re-enter the lighthouse. 
Wait, what? How do I re-enter the lighthouse? I don't think I can walk back across the thing, can I? Maybe I can, I don't know. Go to the lighthouse hub, re-enter the beam. At the bottom, look at the lever. Jump down to your left when facing the lever. You should find a semi-hidden door with a hexagon on it. Enter. Wow, so you literally have to go back all this way to get to the other. Okay, that's cool. Oh, okay, so it puts you back here if you leave the building. Alright, that's cool. So we can't get back over to here. I just realized that if you're walking over here, I don't think you have to be standing on the cube platform. Like, this this whole white space, you can walk on, I'm pretty sure. So I think you don't have to walk on the cube platform. So if you wanted to walk all the way back over here, you could, but... I mean, why the hell would you? Okay, so we have to go back through here to the lighthouse. So I was wrong about the uh, I was wrong about the hexagonal puzzle in the part that we were at before I started over being the lighthouse. Oh, no, oh, I, I died. It's so weird too because you can like freeze frame them like kind of partially up in the air like oh there's it's not it's like partially it's just floating. Okay, and then this goes up, but that's okay, because we're smart, and we can outsmart it. Look, I'm back over here. You can go down now. Haha, ha, got you. Alright. Brick Garden, which is still really cool looking, but whatever. And then we have to go over here. up the stairs all right we're back at the lighthouse hub uh okay go to the lighthouse hub re-enter the beam at the bottom look at the lever so we have to go back down here okay so i guess i guess we could have backtracked to get back here if we wanted to get everything but that would have been a lot of walking so anyway <sighs> Alright, so we have to fall back down into the beam. Just gonna wait for this to go by. Okay. Uh, jump down to your left when facing the lever. You should find a semi-hidden door with a hex- Or wait. To your left when facing the lever. So I think down here? Maybe? I don't know. Jump down to your left when facing the lever. Yeah, this is my left when facing the lever. Apparently there's a door here that's semi-hidden. Or in my case, probably so hidden that I'm not going to be able to see it, but whatever. That's cool. Wait, is this a door? Oh, okay. There we go. Door with a hexagon on it. Alright. Go up to the monolith. Look at this. These are the secrets that we didn't find in the last playthrough because I'm terrible at this game. Well, I mean, like, not even that. It's just that, I mean, the puzzles in this game are hard. Oh, oh, that that surprised me a little bit. Okay, go to the monolith, touch to smash it, now go all the way back to the outer. Oh, boy, we get to go all the way back. Yay, my favorite. Ah, <sighs> this game is so slow on the walking. Honestly, I feel tempted to pause the episode here, just so you don't have to watch me walking. I think I'm gonna do that, so... Or, well... I don't know, how, how long how long will it take to walk back? I guess it won't take too long, because once we walk over to the altar, we'll be back at... Or, once we walk over to this thing, we'll be back at the, uh... The thingy thing 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 with the thing. Thingamaling ding ding, so... Because this doesn't take us back to the uh, lighthouse hub. This takes us back to, like, here. Yeah, and then we can just walk back to the altar pretty quick. So, alright, we're good. All good in the hood. We are, we are totally all good in the hood. Here we go. We... Alright then.
Alrighty then. Just a bunch of slow, slow walking. My favorite. We're almost there. We're almost there. Oh, it's so close. I can almost touch it. Oh, we there. We made it. Mm. Okay, all the way back to the altar. We're almost there. We're very close. Very, very close. Alright, cool. So now we have to do... Now that we're back here... We gotta press the button again. Okay, pass the hexagonal button to the left and right are what they call position blocks. Oh right, these things, these pillar things that we have to... We basically just have to stand in the right spot to get these. Uh, they're pretty easy. There we go. Alright, so that's that one, and then we just gotta go do the other one. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. One thing I want to point out, though, is that the fire smoke thing here, I don't know what it is, but it's freaking cool looking, so... Yeah. Okay, so we want to go towards it, and then... To the right. There we go. Okay. We got it. Just look at that. That just looks so majestic. I mean... Okay, that face up there looks a little derpy, but, like, just the throne and the fire and, ah, oh, it just looks so cool. Okay, activate both of them, and then stand by the throne to rise up to the next floor. There we are. All right, cool. And look, some stairs formed or whatever. Uh, then stand by the throne to turn around to find an obelisk. A rune is behind it. Wait, hold on. Where am I going? I'm gonna go this way, I think. Eh. There we go. Wow, I'm surprised I can jump that high. Okay, so we have to go up to the obelisk. I can't jump that high. Oh, wait, did it say behind the throne? Hold on, so... Stand by the throne, turn around to find an obelisk. Okay, that's an obelisk right there. That's definitely an obelisk. A rune is behind it somewhere tucked in a corner. Okay, so we have to... We have to kind of walk around a ways to get to it. It's okay. I got this. I know what I'm doing. Oh! 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 Come on, we got it. There we go. Oh, there's the rune. There's the rune. Okay, we got that. I just realized you can kind of, if a ledge is like just barely too high for you to jump on, you can kind of do like a corner kick jump off of it to kind of land it. Okay, move on. Star drawing. Oh boy, this one again. This is going to be fun and definitely not annoying. Wait, so do we go this way or? Yeah, it's this way. Okay. Star drawing. This room looks majestic, but after 40 minutes of standing in it and have no fucking idea what to do, it gets very annoying. Anyway, this room is actually a vision puzzle to solve the game. To solve to solve the game only reveals part of the code. You have to have friends for this, or you can just look below, which we're gonna do. This looks complicated. It's a triangle room, shaped like a triangle. The pedestals are ordered like this, but for some reason the word processor on this guide refuses to make it shaped like a triangle. Oh, okay. I got this, so we got A1, B1, B2, C1, C2, C3, D1, 2, 3, 4, E, E, okay. Press the pedestals, pedestals in this order. So first we have to go for E5, which... Oh, okay, I see how this works. So E5 is going to be all the way over here. I don't know how we solved this puzzle in the first place, or... Actually, I don't, I don't think we even solved this puzzle to begin with, but whatever. Uh, E5, then D4, which should be... This is E5, that makes this one D4. I think. Then E3, which is... 
should be this one. Okay. Then we have to go to C2, which is... Let's see, so this is E. This row is D. This row is C, and we want to go to C2. So I think this one... Uh... And C1. Oh, shoot. Achievement unlocked, a problem shared. What... What shape is that even making? I can't even see what shape that is because I can't look straight up. I mean, I kinda can, but... Whatever, this opens a door in the middle of the room. Oh, look, it's another spoopy space door. God, that's trippy. Let's walk into the spoopy space door for another creepy cutscene or something. It said... Wait, it's okay. Enter the door for some enlightenment. Is this meant to be enlightening? Whoa. There's a dead guy floating in space. That looks like a Death Star. There's a big red planet. Well, this is very... This is pretty enlightening. I mean, you know. And we're at about 20 minutes again, so I think after this I'm going to cut the episode here. And then we can come back to this later. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you want to see more of me actually progressing in this game for once, uh, subscribe and all that good stuff. And I'll uh, see, you, see you in the next one. Uh, bye bye